digging. Between my finger and my thumb, the squat pen rests, snug as a gun. Under my window, a clean rasping sound when the spade sinks into gravelly ground. My father digging. I look down till a straining rump among the flower beds bends low, comes up twenty years away, stooping in rhythm through potato drills where he was digging. The coarse boot nestled on the lug, the shaft against the inside knee was levered firmly. He rooted out tall tops, buried the bright edge deep to scatter new potatoes that we picked, loving their cool hardness in our hands. By God, the old man could handle a spade, just like his old man. My grandfather cut more turf in a day than any other man on Toner's bog. Once I carried him milk in a bottle, corked sloppily with paper. He straightened up to drink it, then fell to right away, nicking and slicing neatly, heaving sods over his shoulder, going down and down for the good turf, digging. The cold smell of potato mold, the squelch and slap of soggy peat, the curt cuts of an edge through the living roots awaken in my head but I've no spade to follow men like them. Between my finger and my thumb, the squat pen rests. I'll dig with it. Hello and welcome back to Bookish and welcome back to my series called Poetry for Beginners, in which me, a beginner in terms of reading poetry, uh, reads the work of one poet a month. Uh, I choose a poem, read it, and make a little video about it. Uh, This one is a little bit of a cheat for me. I'm not really a beginner with uh, Seamus Heaney's work. I've been an admirer of his poetry for some time, but I will say that before I started reading uh, poetry for this series, I'm not sure that I was actually getting as much out of his poems uh, as I could have. Um, I've learned a lot from Jason and others and from people commenting uh, on these videos about how to read poetry, how to approach it, and I feel like, you know, I've gotten a lot better at it. So it's kind of nice to get back to a poet that I knew, uh, here and a poet that a poem that I absolutely love. Uh, this poem, "Digging," is the first poem by Seamus Heaney I think I ever uh, read, uh, saw, uh, heard, read, um, and it's just one of those poems that really uh, speaks to me. Uh, kind of a multi generational uh, approach, uh, or, or multi generational story, I guess, is uh, contained here in what is a relatively short poem about a man, in this case Heaney, thinking back about his father and his father's skill at digging and how he got that skill from his grandfather and then to a certain extent how uh, Heaney himself uh, lacked that skill but his skill lay somewhere else and in writing. There are several lines in this that I just think are, are, are really good lines. I like that the poem opens and closes essentially with the repeating of a very similar line. The opening line is between my finger and my thumb the squat pen rests, snug as a gun. Uh, I like that line, even though I have to admit, I'm not sure why he chose to say it's snug as a gun. Um, I've read uh, that people are suggesting he's comparing the power of the pen to the sword. Um, That seems a little either too obvious or maybe, you know, the opposite far-fetched for me to uh, accept completely. Um, And I wonder if it's not really more of a of a statement about the ability of, of us who remember um, generations before to kind of be the uh, in charge of the memory and their lives um, after they're gone um, through our memories of them um, and that we have kind of that power over how they're remembered and if they're remembered uh, at least for a little while. I don't know, to me the gun and the pen uh, here in the first line represents something of the power of the rememberer, the power of the writer. And then the closing line uh, repeats that to a certain extent. Between my finger and my thumb, the squat pen rests, I'll dig with it. Which is clearly, I think, an indication that, that Heaney intends to, you know, dig into his past, and his family's past, into his experiences uh, for the source of his poetry, just as his grandfather dug for the good peat, the good sod, uh, by going down um, deeper, uh, and that his skill doesn't lie with a manual labor, perhaps, but lies in writing. There's just another really great kind of uh, line here uh, near the end where um, he says, The cold smell of potato mold, the squelch and slap of soggy peat, the curt cuts of an edge through the living roots awaken in my head. 
he can remember um, the feel, the smell, the sound of all these activities happening, of his father digging potatoes, of holding those potatoes in his hands, of hearing and watching uh, his grandfather cut turf, cut peat. Um, and in some ways, you know, um, I think he feels like he doesn't quite measure up, perhaps, uh, to his father, to his grandfather. And this is a, a feeling that, that I've had uh, more than once in my life. My father and my grandfather, both uh, very skilled uh, workers in all kinds of ways. My grandfather, I don't think there's anything that he put his hand to that he couldn't do. Um, even though working wasn't his favorite thing, he and I uh, share that in common. You know, he could do, I can't think of anything he couldn't do if he, if he wanted to. My father, even though he had a middle class job, was also taught himself woodworking uh, and made furniture, still does and makes things out of uh, wood and bookshelves and the desk that I sit at uh, when I film these videos. And, you know, unfortunately, I don't have any of those skills. So perhaps it's just my job to remember my grandfather and my father and the skills they had and to try to preserve that memory in some way. Uh, and I think that's what Heaney's doing here in his poem, Digging. Anyway, let me know what you think about what I said about the poem, about the poem itself, about Seamus Heaney in the comments section below, and as always, thank you for watching.